Yes, um, it's uh, Mark the Measle again. I forgot to say some things. So, um, Bitcoin, why is it, uh, why do I have so much trust that it will uh, continue to exist? Uh, that's uh, because it's decentralized. I didn't explain that, but um, uh, digital currencies are not new. Uh, there have been a lot of um, uh, digital currencies actually in the last 10, 20 years, and all of them failed. Yeah? Um, and the biggest uh, problem was that those that succeeded, um, uh, like e-gold and uh, Liberty Reserve, um, uh, have been closed down by the governments. Um, so, um, so um, it's very important that it is um, resistant against government clampdowns. And Bitcoin uh, succeeds in that by being decentralized. Uh, what does that mean? Well, everybody that downloads the Bitcoin software and runs it on his computer is running the Bitcoin network. And uh, you only need two of them to have a Bitcoin network. Uh, so even if governments clamp down hard on Bitcoin and uh, give... Um, um, serious um, punishments uh, on everyone that's running the software, then still some will run it. Eh? So still it will exist somewhere in the world. Eh? Uh, so, um, and it's highly unlikely that all governments will do that. Eh? So, so, um, yeah, the decentralized nature is, uh, is, is just uh, comparable to BitTorrent um, and um, BitTorrent uh, is the way we download uh, movies and, and music um, which is also illegal uh, but um, if it's copyrighted material but um, is um, not but and actually there are serious sentences on, on that uh, in many countries and still, uh, I think the majority of the internet traffic is BitTorrent. So, um, and that's because it's decentralized. You have some central websites like the Pirate Bay and, and others that uh, that host that offer these BitTorrent files that you need to click on. But once you clicked on that and you have the BitTorrent file, it's fully decentralized. You get your information from other computers, not from a central server and, um, and 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 with bitcoin it's even okay there is a central place where you can download bitcoin software which they can shut down but uh, they cannot shut down the actual network unless they are able to shut down every computer huh? which is not practically possible so uh, that's why i believe that BitTorrent is here to stay uh, sorry bit bitcoin um, because of the decentralized um, architecture. Now, um, another important question when implementing it in the permanent portfolio is when, like if you want to do that 20% Bitcoin or even just 5%, uh, when to do that? And uh, I think that is the same story for uh, compared to, like it's always the same story. Um, you want to do that um, ASAP uh, as soon as possible um, and uh, in combination with the other assets. Eh? So buying only one asset of the permanent portfolio is not uh, smart because when it drops you don't have protection. So that's why um, it's smart when you decide to build a permanent portfolio to buy all assets at the same time. Um, and yeah, with Bitcoin, I think it is no different. Of course, Bitcoin is a latecomer, so nobody has it in his permanent portfolio. So, but then the question is, when shall I do it? Shall I try to time the market or not? Bitcoin has just gone up 10 times in, since the start of the year. Uh, so today we are at uh, 30th of uh, May. So in only uh, five months, it has then folded from $13 to $130 today. 
it went to 266 and it dropped to 130 today so um, is it a good time to buy bitcoins well I would say um, just as a speculator I would say well chances are high that it will drop more uh, over the co over this year but I think also chances are high that it will end around the same value at the end of the year um, and uh, of course that's just speculation because um, Bitcoin can uh, also double from here uh, and uh, remain at those levels also so there is no uh, uh, even when chances are low for that to happen it can happen eh? and uh, I think um, the biggest risk with Bitcoin is not having them eh? <laughs> that's the biggest risk uh, so so um, I think that um, it's it's a good time to do that but I think that the timing is also not very important uh, the most important thing is that you do it uh, that will I believe make a big difference uh, in your future performance of your portfolio and um, um, but for me for example I what I'm doing is uh, I find it very easy to sell uh, most of the assets of the permanent portfolio uh, a part of it and, and put it in Bitcoin at the current prices uh, because um, what am I selling eh? so I need to sell some stocks well stocks are short-term overvalued eh? they just went up since 2009 basically uh, every year maybe dropped a little but then went up even more so uh, I don't think they are I think on a long-term basis they are not overvalued but on a short term they are so I don't mind kicking some of that out uh, bonds are highly overvalued the biggest bubble we have ever seen in the history of the world uh, uh, I mean um, when it comes to bonds and this is the biggest bubble we have ever seen interest low rates have never been so low not even in the golden era eh? so um, so uh, so I don't have a problem selling bonds for bitcoins the only thing I don't like to sell is cash for bitcoins because I think cash just short term is a better bet than bitcoins so what I'm doing is I'm not buying all the bitcoins but I'm buying the ones that I can already buy from liquidation of some stocks and bonds so I, I, I will wait a few months before I also allocate the cash position and before I have that indeed 20% bitcoins I will take some time for that it's a speculative approach it can go wrong too but I will make sure that I will have already enough bitcoins probably around uh, not 20% but probably around 10-15% of my permanent portfolio um, yeah so uh, I don't think I have anything more to say about this um, uh, yeah feel free to ask any questions if you have uh, I would be very happy to make another video and talk about it. Bye.